Fuck, he's way up there. I mean, he ain't gonna come down here. He ain't gonna fuck play. Fuck it. Alright, when I get back around to that road that I saw, I'm just gonna go up the road. I guess the thing will follow me, but fuck it. I think I've got this island pretty much explored. Yeah, I definitely went up this first. Whatever. Where was that? It was around here? There it is. Get as much of the island explored as I can. Hey, there's a thing. But the door's on the other side. This is weird. to get every little spot. <laughs> See you in the afterlife. Here's that fucker. You're the one that's kept that combat music going. Fuck off. Okay, here's a, uh, something. Big Head's Shack. What the fuck? kind of name is Big Head? Fresh game. Fork of Horripilation. Drain Magicka on self. Why would you have that? Like, I kind of want it just because it's weird. But, yeah. This guy is my homie. Arconian and likes the spear. Why do you have your tables set like that? All sorts of things. All sorts of things. Spoons, knives, and forks. The master puts them here for play. Do you play? What is your game? The netch is hiding, but I will not look. Dude, I seriously want this fork. I've never seen an enchanted fork. You think he'll kill me if I try to take it? I'm sure he will. There must be nothing else on this island. It's really a disappointment. But at least I got to see the fork of Horpolation. I think it was worth it to see an enchanted fork. Um, all right, we're going back to Balmora. It's sent is unfamiliar. All right. 
I need to go to uh KS Cosades. Hello, Mr. Sleeper. You don't scare me. I need to put a candle up here or something. All right, sir, I'm ready to take over the world. You seem like very good company. I'm ready for my orders. Did you speak with Hasur Zain Subani yet? Make sure you've gotten everything you can about the Ashlanders. Where is he? Alrun, yeah, that's right. I couldn't find him. Try the old scar in. If that's where he says to find him, then that's where I'll go. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Make it look nice. Look at all this work that I have to do. This is a video game. I'm not supposed to be working, but eventually there's so many items, it's like work. Why walk when you can ride? Hasur Zain Subani at the Old Scar Inn. Old Scar Inn. Where was that? That's right in the pot. Fuck that. I thought it was like right around the corner here. Temple. I bet it's this one. Because that's the council. This has got to be it. This better be important. The prey approaches. Sewer is going to be a Dunmer. Hello. Um. Yeah, business. Who's to learn of Ashlanders? And what is it that you wish to learn? What are their gift giving customs? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers and affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. Such is particularly useful for traders and travelers. Among friends, it is a private thing, but subtle and with great risks. For the test of the gift is how well it is tailored to the receiver. So, uh, it's courtesy. Ashlanders may challenge a stranger who enters a yurt without invitation. Customs differ with different tribes, but leave when requested, and you may be forgiven. Be particularly careful about Ashkans. Ashkans. Tribal chiefs and wise women, tribal seers and counselors. Some are welcoming, some are hostile. Be courteous and leave if requested. If offended, they may attack. What's a thoughtful gift? Yes, a gift that shows you have taken the care to learn something of the receiver. 
For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me and has made a special effort to know and please me. But now, I have answered your question. I would like some time to myself. Will you excuse me? Is there something I can do for you? So I've got to find a book of poetry to give to that guy because he doesn't want to talk anymore. Yes, sir. Let's go to this bookseller up here. Ask him about a thoughtful gift. Wrong one. I suppose you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can't help you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Likes poetry. I have a few such volumes here. I believe Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns, the Five Stars. Around here somewhere. The Five Far Stars. The Mirror. buy all of them. Fuck it. He buys spells. I can sell him some spells real quick. Yeah, maybe one of them. That'll work. Ah, oh, fuck it. Didn't. Go ahead, stranger. I didn't bargain with him. Hopefully he takes all of the books. Let's see, it was up here, and then downstairs. Thoughtful gift. This is a gift for me? Oh, he didn't take all of them. A copy of the Five Far Stars, Noble Words of Noble Warriors. I, grace, I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common yet potent magic. I thank you and I honor your courtesy, Karaoke. It would please me to return your courtesy by answer, answering your questions. Uh, can I do that again? Please take no offense, but I already own a copy of this book. But you could not know this, and it in no way diminishes your pleasure of your gift. I, again, I thank you and in return I give you experience of the Ashland and its people. What would you wish to know about the Ashlanders in every cult? There is too much to tell. Here, take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Reverend cult, but most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things you should know about the courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. And since, it, and since you ask about the Reverend cult, Perhaps you'll be interested in my views on the Ashlanders and Foreigners because a guiding passion of the, Re the Reverie cult is their hatred of foreigners. Let's talk about the Reverie cult. They worship the great Ashkan, Ashkan and Hortator Nerevar Moonstar, who in ages past destroyed the evil godless dwarves and banished the treacherous Dagoth Ur and foul hosts beneath Red Mountain. The cult is of small consequence in Ashland to worship, and only among the Urshalaku do its followers have any influence. Other Ashlander tribes share sentiments of the cults, but 
regard the Reverie prophecies with suspicion and skepticism. Prophecies? I have heard it said the prophecies foretell in the return of the reincarnated Nerevar, who shall drive the foreigners from the Ashlands and who shall cast down the false gods of the, the temple and restore the true worships of the ancestors. It is a dream that would appeal to every Ashlander, but it is thought but a silly legend and little more by many Ashlanders, myself included. So I've got his stuff. Do I need to listen to everything? Or I just need this. I've asked him about courtesy and not about challenges. When challenged for sport, it is acceptable to decline. When challenged for honor, it is shameful to decline. Honor challenges come from the come from offense given in speech or action, and may represent customary formal challenges of status or ritual. What does it do for you? Going back to Chaos Cosades. Now I think he's going to send me to a uh, Ashlander camp. I think. I mean, I've got his notes, so I'm bringing that back to uh, Mr. Cosades. And I'm glad I didn't really do that much of the main story until now, so it's like pretty much everything all at once. Hello? I believe I have, uh, orders? Thanks for your report, but keep 